and today I'm here with Brianna. Hi! So um, today we're going to be showing you guys how to make pink champagne cupcakes and after we show you guys how to make the cupcakes we're going to show you our outfits that are scream, scream, <laughs> scream queen, <laughs> scream queens. So definitely stay tuned for that. So for the pink champagne cupcakes, all you need, I'm going to show you guys the easy version of it since this is most likely going to be for Halloween. If you guys are going to be with your friends, you want to make like an easier version. Here I have the Betty Crocker Super Moist White Cake Mix and then I also have three egg whites. I have a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I have pink or red food coloring and we have a bottle of pink champagne. Amy. Are you playing? Oh <laughs> that was so not exciting. <laughs> we thought it was gonna have a cork in it, so we thought it was gonna like pop up and like shoot us in the head. That's so dumb. Well, I wow. guess it's gonna say it on here. I didn't even know it was possible for wow. us to not have a cork. Mm, let's try it. Let's try it. No, no, not for a few years. <laughs> a cup and one and a fourth cups of pink champagne. So I'm just pouring a cup first. It'll get fizzy. Yeah, it'll get fizzy, so just Go be careful. Okay, so we're just going to pour our cake mix in. Pour the eggs in. And here we have three egg whites. It might be different, just basically follow the recipe on the back of your box. And now we can pour the champagne in. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think we're going to want to eat the batter. I know. One of those kinds. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it just it looks like a cloud. <laughs> it's getting everywhere. Oops. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll do that. laughs> okay. And we're also going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now we're going to add in some red food coloring, just a little bit to make it pink because you don't want it to be red, obviously. So we actually just added in a little bit more champagne into it just to give it um, a bit more flavor. So you guys can try and see uh, if you want to add in more. For our cupcake wrappers, um, I got these ones from TJ Maxx. These ones are pink and white striped, and these ones are black and white because we thought these would be perfect for scream queens. So we can just line our um, tin with these. <laughs> and now we can take an ice cream scoop and just pour our batter in. It looks so cute. It does. The color is really pretty too. Yeah. I'll take this over. Oh, there you go. Look how pretty that is. It's like bubblegum. Really cute. I know. Oh, it looks really cute with the black. Yeah, I like the black better actually. Oh, see who picked out the better color? <laughs> You're the boy. <laughs> So the oven just preheated, so we can pop our cupcakes in now. And we can let these bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. So our cupcakes just came out of the oven, so they are cooling right now. So we can make our frosting. So we're just gonna be taking one stick of butter. And we're also gonna be needing a fourth of a cup of our pink champagne, and we're going to need four cups of confectioner sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. You want to mix this? I'm going to slowly oh pour that in. Here you go. So I 
I just put the frosting into a piping bag with a Wilton 12 tip. And now that the cupcakes are cooled, we can pipe on our frosting. I also have some pink pearls and I have some white pearls which I got from Michaels. So we're going to add these on top. And then we also made some in these wrappers, like the leftover ones, and they actually look really, really cute in these perfect. ones. Yeah, they look like perfect in these ones too, so. These ones are hard to eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so pink. Here's that one that last little bit of champagne. So of course we are going to have some pink champagne with our cupcakes. So we're going to show you guys how to get an outfit that looks similar to Chanel number threes. So this is the outfit that we came up with for that. I believe her original outfit is all from ASOS and this outfit is coming up on the next episode of Scream Queens. So the shoes are from Madden Girl. This polka dot skirt is from Forever 21 as well as the polka dot top. And we thought it was perfect for Scream Queens and it's fluffy. Next, she always wears the earmuffs, so we're going to show you guys how to make some. So for our earmuffs, we're going to be needing some fuzzy fabric, tacky glue, some of these pretty gems and beads, and I got all this stuff from Michaels. Um, you're also going to need a pair of scissors, some white felt, and a headband. So I just cut the felt into circles, and I'm now going to be taking our fabric and cutting it into strips to cover the felt. Now we're going to take our tacky glue and apply glue to the circles. Now we can place our fabric on top of the glue and press it down. Now we can repeat the same process on the other circle. Once we have that, I'm just trimming off any of the excess fur so that it forms a perfect circle. I think I forgot to mention that the kind of felt I got is the kind that has a sticky adhesive. So basically I am just peeling off the adhesive and we're making a sandwich with this basically. So we're going to take the felt that has no fur on it and then make a sandwich with that and the felt side that does have the fur on it. So I hope that made sense. It's a lot easier to just see from the video. So now that we have our furry earmuffs, we can decorate these with some jewels. So I'm just taking the tacky glue and you do want to wait until it is tacky to apply the beads or else they will just slide off. So once your glue is tacky, you guys can apply the beads and you might want to have a friend help you to hold them down until they are slightly dry. I think these beads are so cute and just scream Chanel and I think it looks adorable on Brie. And Brianna's sunglasses are from Mod Hatter. 
Now it's time for the one and only Chanel. I am obsessed with her outfits. She is so adorable. So I decided to put my own twist on her outfit and I love how it came out. I think it just looks just like a scream queen would look. So my shoes are from Go Jane, which is an online website. My socks are from Charlotte Russe, and her actual skirt is from H&M, and I searched so hard in the store to find it, but I couldn't. So mine is from Forever 21. Next, I have my shirt, which is also from Forever 21, and I have a pink coat. I couldn't find a pink furry one. I looked really hard, but this one is Betsy Johnson, and I think it looks similar to what they would wear. Last but not least, I have my sunglasses, and these ones I got from Charlotte Russe. They were actually on sale for $1.99, so I thought that was such a good deal because they were so cheap and look very similar to hers. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>